A local man has worked overtime for his new job and he hasn't even clocked in yet. So we told you about Wayne Osborne last year when he hit a snag applying for a job, discovering he didn't have his high school diploma. All right, so we have an update. He has that diploma and he's starting his dream job today. <laughs> Here's CBS 13's Marley Ginter. Not the high school graduation Wayne Osborne had planned, but a rite of passage he certainly earned. You know, life had its own curveballs, but I'm here now. Yeah. Wayne thought he was a longtime high school grad, but when he went for his dream job, he hit a nightmare, discovering he never actually earned his diploma, short more than 80 credits. What went through your mind? I, I was I was devastated. I actually sat in my car in the parking lot and just start crying. I was like, oh my God. But no more tears now. Since we talked with him in November, Wayne landed an interview for his dream job with PG&E. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you guys I was so nervous. I've never been nervous, that nervous in my life. Nervous, but determined to nab that job and make his family proud, Wayne nailed it. Now one of PG&E's newest employees. Employees. And Miss Marley, when I say that I almost lost it, I just I had to pinch myself because it was like I was out of a, uh, like an out of body experience. I was like, oh wow, this is really happening. The last time we talked, this was your dream job. Now your dreams come true. What's ahead for you? Well, what's ahead of, for me, Miss Mar Marley, is to be the best uh, uh, employee I can be, to give my million percent every day, and to be more of an asset to the PG&E team and maybe one day even be a CEO for PG&E. You know, sky's the limit. Wow, and Wayne says that he is working in traffic control with PG&E, but he says that he would have been happy just wearing the hard hat <laughs> and being a part of the team. What a delightful person. I know, yeah. I want him on our team, I know, right?